What is going on, everybody? We're back on it. My Hero Season 5, Episode 22. Um, I can't remember what the confirmation was, but it can't be more than... We're probably going to end at, what, 24, 25? So we've got maybe two to three, two to four episodes left total. Um, people were up in arms about last episode. And let's just call it what it is. The, the, the season has just been a flop. And that's not to, like, just poo-poo on My Hero, because I see people going off on it on Twitter and other reactors and things. So it's good to see, because sometimes you have... Because it happens to me before. There's animes and story points and arcs that I have not liked that seem genuinely, like, loved and enjoyed by others. And I'm sure a lot of people go through this. There's going to be shows and characters and arcs and plot points that you're going to like that probably the masses do like. And it's going to be in the reverse. You're going to be on the masses side, and it's going to be people that don't. But it seems like everybody's just kind of throwing their hands up with this season um it's been a letdown it definitely has in my opinion for sure and it seems a lot of people have kind of gotten to that point where they've tried to like defend it or say wait for this but like it's just been you know so so much left out information and the pacing and the order of things and leaving out backstory and then people just kind of had their i guess their breaking point was last episode with how much they left out of toga and what they're doing with the Liberation Army. Even diehard manga and people that are like diehard my hero have just been telling me just to read the manga. <laughs> like it's not worth it with what they're doing um, to characters and plots and arcs and things like that. So we'll see. Um, kind of the only real, I guess, talking point from last episode was the evolution of Toga's quirk. Um, has this been covered in the manga? I'm guessing it has. Um they open this Pandora's box with her quirk, but, like, is there no limit to what she can copy? Because she copies the person, so, like, if she copied Fat Gum, she would turn into his size, so then she would have what she would need to, you know, copy his quirk. You know, she turns into the actual person. Um. So, with Deku, though, I mean, that's what that's what it comes down to. Any copy, any, anything in this story comes down to any copying or, you know, mirroring thing, it comes down to, could it copy one for all? That's all it comes down to. Um, I've gotten kind of a lot of people saying, we just don't know. People explaining, well, I don't see why it couldn't since she's copying his actual body. Maybe she'll have the stock. She won't just have the tank of gas. She'll have gas in the tank, not just the stockpiling part, but the actual parts that go in it. I don't know. But when you open that door of, like, evolution of quirks and then specifically ones that copy um appearance and all those type of things that's going to be the first question that was the first thing that popped in my head was well can she copy his and can she copy it perfectly and do what he does or is it going to be a monoma effect where she'll look like him but can't do any of the power output or anything i have no idea um we'll see what they decide to do with the liberation army i've had a lot of people tell me this was their favorite arc in the manga but the way they're kind of doing the Liberation Army right now makes it seem like it's just going to be another overhaul thing, where it's just another, like, villain hurdle for Shigaraki to smash and then overcome, or, like, step over. And that's kind of the vibes I've been getting. And I think Deku, in, in the anime at least, I feel like Deku and Shigaraki have been following that path. Put somebody in front of them that's better than them, or stronger, or better set up, or whatever you want it to be, whether that be, like, a Todoroki, or a Deku, or Bakugo, or a... Um, all Might, or an Endeavor, or a, um, what's my favorite character's name? Can't be my favorite if I forget his name. Um, Lamillion, I forget his real actual name. Um, but just somehow make Deku overcome, or have them get injured, or have them be removed, or something, and let Deku keep thrusting forward. Same thing on the Shigaraki side. I don't enjoy his character at all, um, but I'll wait to see more. Um, but you keep putting things in front of him, you get rid of all for one, you get rid of overhaul, now the liberation, like, we're not really taking them, I don't take them serious for now, they'll be removed and Shigaraki will then vault. But it is their stories that are parallel, I just wish it wasn't so easy to predict kind of like how we're thinking, but we'll see. We're pressing play on the episode right now. <sighs> now we're getting twice backstory, so is he gonna... Is his quirk going to take a boost? Yeah. 
from twice but oh god oh shit Well, let's see what it does to his cork. What's he going to be able to do now? We've already gotten this backstory, though. Quirk that could take down the country. Oh. Oh. I mean, he's gonna get. He's gonna bust out of this. But how? What's gonna happen here? He didn't know if he was the real one. He didn't want to get hurt and fall apart. And now that his arms have been broken and he didn't disappear, he must know that he's the real one. Be a giant him? Oh, a bunch of hymns, okay. Sadness. So everyone so every league person's gonna get their moment here, huh? Dang, he's trying to produce those bullets. Well, clearly he created more than two. Mm, 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 mm. 
Oh, they big. Yeah, everyone, so it looks like this is just going to be a league of, this is going to be a league power-up arc. Yeah, because clearly that's more than two. Why is he sitting on a man, or I guess puppet? Is that what, is he about to go out there and handle this himself, aka die? Trying to make the league look like the look like the heroes and what's and now Dobby will get his moment. Um, he's got a mark on his head. What is that? There was a mark growing on his head there. Hey, let's run it. I'm still not rooting for the League here. I'd like to see the Liberation Army side win, but they're not going to. It looks like each of the League members is going to be pushed to that brink, to that point that it looks like they're going to be defeated, and then their quirk is going to excel to that next step. Oh! Well, Todoroki's ass. Oh. He can then control it, yep. I like this ice character a lot. Um, Dobby is going to kill him. <laughs> I want this for Todoroki, though. This kind of accuracy with his ice. I've been calling for this since season one. We're never going to get it, I don't think. He's never going to be like Endeavor that is just so specific with his flame and shit. It's just going to be just mass pump. He woke him up. Woke his ass up. Oh my god. It's about to be a slaughter. Slaughter. Look like corn on the cob shooting at his ass. 
And I heard what they did with that Shigaraki thing at the end of last episode had manga readers pissed the hell off how they showed him just like getting rid of that entire crowd. He's just fodder, though. So we already know, fast forward, that they, they're ending up working together. Does How do they settle this? Because they don't... Either side doesn't defeat either one here. Oh my god. So how does Gigantor's big ass not just slaughter everybody here and we get him to stop and not kill everything? Everyone is a hero and no one is a hero. What has he got some like power up every time he speaks people get stronger? I forget what Spinner even does. Does he even do anything besides looking like a ninja turtle and carry swords? He doesn't see too concerned. Oh god, they're fighting amongst each other. Of who's the real one. Oh, he's dead. What's happening to him? What's growing on his face? Uh, what the fuck is that? What the hell was that? I really wanted to see him kill that dude. He was like, if you, if y'all move or do anything, I'm going to kill him. I wanted him to just smash him right there in front of anybody.
Clearly he's not going to get him, right? What's his ability? I like the music. That's a big target for him to touch, though. If Shigaraki just touches any of that, though, it's over. This seems like a lose-lose for him, though. Because if he gets touched, like, what's uh, what's the fallback plan? Oh, fuck. The real one? That was a clone up there, right? The real one touched the bottom of the building. And this is what we saw a couple episodes ago when he was laughing with all that debris, right? Episode. Yeah, that's about what I figured. Let's fast forward to the end here. Any after credit? Whoop. Pause that. Um, I mean, again, it, it was cool stuff to see Twice kind of get his development and, sh and get his power up. Um, I don't know if Dobby, I honestly forget what Spinner even does. <laughs> I know he's like, um, oh God, what's his name? What's, what's the name that he and Toga just follow so hard? I forget. Um, Stain, like wannabe disciple, carries around the blades and stuff. But like, does his like changed appearance actually grant him anything? Like quickness, durability, strength? Not quite sure, but again, I mean, it was cool to see them get their their power ups and twice get over his kind of mental and you know he was always afraid to go in because he wasn't sure if he, like he said and they they kind of made a point there he's like what would it take to destroy he's like oh a broken bone and they snap both of his arms and he didn't like disintegrate and die his arms are still broken by the way um those just didn't snap back and heal so that's gonna take some time um I mean it was cool to see that. And the Iceman kind of go off. I wish Todoroki was like that. But again, what they're do, And I, I don't know if they're supposed to be stronger, be better. But like, the Liberation just seems like a bunch of fodder. Like, maybe one or two of them. Like, they show they show them having some cool quirks and stuff like that. Um, but in the end, like, the League is coming out on top. It reminds me of the arc a couple seasons ago. Where, um... What was the arc that Monum, uh... 
not Monoma. Um, I forget who it was, but the students were fighting that girl from the school that, like, when she sips tea, her IQ, like, shoots up super, super high. Um, and she was getting the better of us, but then in the end, we still came out on top. Um, that's kind of, like, the vibes I get from this little Liber Liberation League of Villains arc where it's, like, they're going to show us some cool quirks that, like, the Liberation Army has, and holy shit, that's cool, but... It's the story is not about what the Liberation Army is going to do. It's the main people here, the League. They're going to look down and out. They're going to come out on top. They're going to look down and out. They're going to come out on top. And that's just a vibe I'm getting here. And nothing from the Liberation Army is seeing like, like his quirk was cool. Like, oh man, I wonder what that is. Some kind of hardening expansion ability. Um, but I'm curious to see how this ends because we we do know fast forward all of them are sitting around a table together so some kind of agreement or something gets settled um but again that was kind of set up with overhaul as well um so we'll see i guess kind of how it goes i appreciate it everybody like share for you subscribe as always